Ever notice that the world does not make an ounce of sense? Unless you think of it in terms of balances and sense. There are tests that determine if and where you go to college, and the basis of these tests is your knowledge. But does the test really show which of us is smarter? If you didn't know English, wouldn't it be harder? So the reason the best work in a factory is cause unlike all the rest, they couldn't go out and get their degree. Money plays such a big role in religion, it supports the church, so amen, let everyone pitch in. But does the offering have to be so pushy in public? The money is worth the same whether the play gets to touch it. Sure, it's a touchy subject, and we frown when it gets mentioned. Tension causes silence and apprehension, and holds a solution to confusion, and preaches money equals inclusion while the poor are equal, but... They have gotten stuck in seclusion. I'm hoping I'm proving that you could do it if you try. Not by the words that are listed inside this line, but the fact that you're drawing inspiration from a random guy who considers himself shy and only says hi on the by and by. I sigh a sigh of relief as I close my eyes and go to sleep. And when I start to breathe deep, I feel oxygen in my blood start to creep into my mind and let the imagination seep. There's a leak in my brain, so inspiration is what I weep. Cause tears aren't always full of sadness, and smiles aren't always full of gladness. Remember, if you're honest first, others will follow, and that will help you both swallow the madness. And this emotional blackness is scary, but temporary. It's fairly subjective, so focus on you and your life's objective. That's not being selfish, it's just your perspective. Mind's open to ideas they find unexpected, and can see have been long ago rejected. I see we've been affected. Society was once injected with a drive for formalness, where we will only accept normalness. But let's be honest, we will all fall short of this, so we form a fest at the ones who won't become conformist. It's unfortunate to see a child fake that they have joy outside. They're like a golden happy meal with no toy inside. Then we stare with surprise in our eyes when we learn that the face that once smiled so wide had become a victim of suicide. That kid died. And when will we decide to put our differences aside and learn that we don't have to choose a side? So open wide, because here comes the biggest dose of truth. Unconditional love is the fountain of youth. To forgive is not to forget, it's to not hold against. And to love is not to share offense, it's to tear down each and every divide, physical and in your mind. And I hope that's how all my friendships are and that's how they will always be defined. I'll resign with one last slice of life advice. If you're doing what's right, you will not have to think twice. I hope these words suffice throughout your life and resonate great tides of light when your life becomes darker than the darkest night. It just might, and it probably will, but my hope is you will cope with music instead of a pill. And I'm still yearning to reach away and touch the sky. And I'm still learning to teach myself to say goodbye. And I'm still overturning every day in my mind. And I'm still burning to preach that it's okay for a guy to cry. So let's see if I finally believe myself and excuse me while I go and grab a tissue from the shelf.